Hey friends, we recently had the IPO of Paris Defense that almost tripled the wealth of its investor on the listing day itself. Its IPO price band was Rs 175 and was listed at Rs 469. It was mainly due to the bright growth prospect in the defense sector and relatively smaller market cap and smaller IPO size. We again have a similar IPO in the defense and space sector with a smaller IPO size starting 14 December. It is the IPO of Data Pattern. So we'll quickly look at the business of the company, its promoters, key strength, competitors, future growth and financials. Then we'll look at the IPO details along with valuation. Based on the analysis, we'll conclude whether you should apply for the IPO or not. All right, let's get started. Data Pattern is a defense and aerospace electronic solution provider. This company was incorporated in 1998 in Bangalore. So it is a 20 plus year old company. Data Pattern has high design capabilities across the spectrum of strategic defense and aerospace electronic solution. Its core competency include electronic hardware design and development, software design and development, firmware design and development, mechanical design and development, product prototype design and development, then functional testing and validation, environmental testing and verification, and engineering services opportunities. Data pattern products and solutions are completely in-house, right from design to development and testing. Now let us look at the sum of the products of data pattern and their application. Although their products are very complex for a normal person to understand, I've tried to simplify them. Its first product category is radars. It includes different types of radars like your surveillance radar that can detect moving targets, then weather radars, wind radars, Brahmos missile seeker that searches for the target and guide the missile to its target, and many other radars. Its second product category is underwater electronic communication system. Underwater electronics communication system has various products used for data acquisition requirement of ocean resources like air and sea water temperature, salinity, wind speed and its direction, wave intensity, etc. Then its products have usage in passive surveillance and intelligence gathering. Next product category is avionics display. These avionic displays are basically used in the cockpits of planes and helicopters. For example, the entire glass cockpit of light utility helicopter is produced by the data pattern along with the accompanying data interface unit. Next category is ATE, that is automated test equipment. One of company's core business has been the development of automated test equipment for critical aerospace requirements. The Indian Government Space Research Organization requires various types of automated test equipment for development of its test benches for Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle that is PSLV and Geostationary Launch Vehicle that is GSLV. All the electronic system on the PSLV and GSLV as well as some satellite subsystems are tested by Indian Space Research Organization using such ATE that is automated test equipment. Their products have usage across platforms and programs including Tejas Light Combat Aircraft, Light Utility Helicopter, BrahMos Missile Program, Land and Air Based Missile Launch System, Tracking Radar, Weather Radar, Nano Satellite for ISRO, DRDO's Radar and Electronic Warfare System etc. If you look at the promoters of data pattern, it was incorporated by Srinivas Rangarajan and Rekha Murthy Rangarajan. Srinivas Rangarajan is the chairman and MD of the company and he holds a master degree in industrial management from IIT Madras. Company senior management has over 20 years of average experience. So the overall leadership of company is looking very strong. One of the key strengths of the company is its complete focus on in-house development right from design to manufacturing. This gives them the cost advantage. Company has developed several reusable building blocks that has resulted in better margin and spreading the development cost over multiple programs. Then next trend is strong experience of more than 20 plus years in the industry where data pattern has developed good relationship with Indian defense and space sector, PSUs, government ministries and departments. As far as competition is concerned, Data Pattern has competition from various listed as well as non-listed companies like LNT, 
भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लिमिटेड महिंद्रा डिफेंस अल्फा डिजाइन एस्ट्रा माइक्रोवेव एम टी ए आर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड सो ऑन इफ यू लुक एट द फ्यूचर ग्रोथ इंडियन डिफेंस इंडस्ट्री इज इवॉल्विंग इन टू अ सेल्फ सस्टेनिंग इंडस्ट्री विथ फोकस ऑन इंडिजीनियस मैन्युफैक्चरर विथ थीम्स लाइक मेक इन इंडिया एंड आत्मनिर्भर भारत आई थिंक दैट दिस आत्मनिर्भर भारत थीम वुड क्रिएट अ ह्यूज अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर इंडिजीनियस कंपनीज लाइक डेटा पैटर्न Currently, there is a lot of dependency on foreign countries in the defense and space sector, and focusing on Atmanirbhar Bharat would open up huge opportunities in the future. Company has a very strong order book of 581 crore as on September 21. This order book has increased at a CAGR of 40% since 2018. Just to give you an idea, company revenue in FY21 was 224 crore. So the current order book. is almost 2.5 times the fy21 revenue and it is growing quickly data pattern intend to continue to expand its capability and product portfolio to enhance their offering in the defense and aerospace sector they also intend to bid for higher value projects that require significant usage of complex technologies for example they have developed and deployed their first nano satellite in 2017 based on the learning they have received two more contracts to design and build nano satellites company is also planning to upgrade and expand its manufacturing facility in chennai company also intend to expand its market outside india hence overall the future is looking very bright if you look at the revenue company revenue has grown from 131 crore in fy19 to 156 crore and then 224 crore in fy21 H1 revenue for FY22 stood at 97 crore. Its net profit has grown from 7 crore in FY19 to 21 crore and then 55 crore in FY21. Its H1 FY22 profit stood at 23 crore. So growth has been good. Both ROE and ROCE have grown in last 3 years where ROE has increased from 5.8% in FY19 to 26.79% in FY21 and ROCE has grown from 12.45% in FY19 to 34.69% in FY21. So profitability is also high. Overall, financials are looking good. Data pattern IPO window is between 14 December to 16 December. Its IPO price band is between 555 to 585 rupee. Face value of each share is rupees 2, market lot is 25 share and minimum investment is rupees 14625. The IPO issue size is rupees 588 crore out of which 240 crore is fresh issue of equity and 348 crore is offer for sale where promoters are selling their stake in this ipo retail quota is 35% qib quota is 50% and hni quota is 15% the money raised from the ipo would be used for repaying the borrowing funding the working capital upgrading and expanding manufacturing facility and general corporate expenses at a higher price band of rupees 585 Data pattern would be valued at rupees three thousand thirty-five crore. So it is a small cap company. If you look at its valuation at annualized earning for FY22 at a higher price band, it is launching its IPO at a P ratio of sixty-five point four. Again, generally speaking, the valuation is on the higher side, but it is due to two factors. First is due to the current market euphoria, where majority of good companies are available at higher valuation. And second reason is the bright growth prospect of Indian companies. in the defense sector company has received a very good response in the gray market and it is commanding latest gray market premium of 95% so there are high chances that this ipo will get listed at more than 100% listing gain overall if we conclude data pattern is in the business of electronic solution for defense and space sector it is a 20 plus year old company with very experienced management company is vertically integrated with in house development of electronic products and solution right from design to manufacturing financially company is looking very strong hence on fundamentals i would rate it 4.5 star out of 5 as far as valuation is concerned the annualized pe is 65.4 and there is bright growth prospect in the indian defense and space sector due to strong focus on make in india and atmanirbhar bharat it would significantly benefit companies like data pattern hence keeping the high earning potential in mind on valuation i would rate data pattern 4 stars out of 5 overall this issue is worth subscribing for both listing gain as well as for long term wealth creation i am going to apply in this ipo 
What is your opinion on this IPO? Will you apply or avoid? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.